Hey y'all, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to Large Family Diabetic Cooking. Uh, today we're going to make the McDonald's breakfast burritos. So, um, we're going to get started on that. And um, uh, we might do some type of a dessert. So, uh, I got my sausage on cooking. <laughs> I spaced out for a second. I got my sausage on and that's cooking and I got my eggs here. Um, it calls for two and a half dozen of eggs um, and some minced onion which is in here and then I'll add some salt and pepper and I'm gonna add a little bit of um, uh, heavy cream to the eggs and a little bit of um, milk maybe. So, um, let me get back to you here in a second. Hold on a second. Okay, so let's get the, uh, we got the sausage cooking. We're going to get our eggs together, but I need, I need an apron. So let me go grab that. Okay, um, I have a Valentine's Day one on, but <laughs> I should have worn it when we made the, uh, when we made the cheesecake. So now I gotta get out my immersion blender so I can blend up these eggs, because as soon as the sausage is done, we're going to um, cook the eggs. Let me get my heavy cream out. <laughs> okay. And let's go over here and get this broken up. It shouldn't take long for this to cook because it is thawed completely all the way through. So. But uh, we're doing a McDonald's version of the brec breakfast burrito. So, I'm browning. It says brown it halfway through and then add my diced tomatoes with green chilies. Um, I'm not going to add, uh, I don't have uh, tomatoes with diced chilies uh, because my grandkids don't like it. They said it's too spicy. So we're just gonna use just regular old diced tomatoes. And uh, it says to cook the sausage halfway through and then add that. So let me get the lid off, of, or take the top off of our diced tomatoes so that way they're ready to go. using my 
thing here. not quite cooked halfway through, but we're going to get the eggs blended up. I'm going to go get my dog and put him in with his Sorry, my dog was being stubborn, so I gotta wash my hands. And I had to pick him up and take him to my grandson, Caden. But I made sure he wasn't up against the, up against my, uh, This is halfway done. So now we're going to add, it says juice and all. So we're going to add that. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. Turn the heat up just a little bit because I need the liquid from the uh, potato or tomatoes to cook out a little bit. All right, now let me put you down here so you can see what I'm doing with the eggs. 
Okay, there's two and a half dozen eggs in here and some minced onion. Okay, now I'm gonna add some uh, heavy cream and then we're gonna mix this up. So we're going to let this cook down some. Uh, I have ordered some uh, uh, cupcake liners, a cupcake uh, cupcake pan. Um, I ordered some gum paste and some food coloring for their um, to make their unicorn. Uh, cupcakes so I'm real excited on that we got their birthday gifts they're wrapped up and then I told you about the banner that I got um, and the next thing I need to get is I need to get some balloons <laughs> so while we're sitting here I want to I, I got some new subscribers um, and the first one is Candace Tate. Next is Phyllis Ak Pan. The next one is Green Butterfly Effect. The next one is Forged Memory, G period Ash. And the last one is Joyce Dykes. Thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, I got to a milestone. I got to 100 subscribers and thank you so much for subscribing. Just keep sharing out and um, hopefully we can get to, I can get to a thousand subscribers with y'all's help. And then what we're going to do is, uh, like I said, I want to do is I want to do some live cooking where um, I, um, we can talk about it and see what you guys would like to do um, and uh, well maybe we can do that um, I don't know I mean we can we can try um, and another thing is um, I had a subscriber mentioned to me well not a subscriber I'm sorry she is not a subscriber but she mentioned that um, 
she said we all know how to wash dishes so um, I'm going to not wash my dishes with you guys online I'm going uh, while I'm recording so um, I'll have to save all my dishes for at the end um, so if you guys you guys let me know what do you like do you like to see me wash dishes because that's usually when I do the majority of my talking and I let you guys know what what is up so we're gonna try something different we're gonna try uh, I will do the majority of my talking while um, while I'm cooking so that way you know what's up what I have plans for and stuff so. Also had someone bring to my attention um, that uh, potatoes are on the high uh, sugar index, and so is milk. Milk has uh, is high in carbs, um, but since my daughter's ex-fiance moved out I am the only one that is a diabetic in the house so I eat within moderation but I do want to start cooking with fresh vegetables and I want to start cooking with um, sweet potatoes because uh, my granddaughters they love sweet potatoes so um, and they also like butternut squash so I want to be doing a lot more cooking with some vegetables um, and that's another thing. I gotta stop saying um so much. <laughs> I say it all the time. So that is that is my goal. And I appreciate her bringing that to my attention. But like I said, I eat in moderation, and I I, I check my sugar all the time. So to make sure that I am staying within the range that I'm supposed to be in. So, but I appreciate her bringing that to my attention too because, you know, like I said, I eat in moderation and um, I'm trying to control the sugar intake and the, uh, and the salt intake because, you know, diabetes runs on both sides of my family, my, my, uh, well, no, on my dad's side of the family, not so much my mom's, uh, but high blood pressure runs on my mom's side of the family. So, um, I try to c control the sugar and salt intake by using different spices and, um, different types of vegetables where you don't need the salt. So. I want to make sure that this is completely done all the way through before I drain this. I do not want to drain it in the sink. So. This is done. So now we're going to drain this and then we're going to get our eggs right on. Turn this down.
during this. some stuff that's still in the pan, that's okay. Get the majority of it out. Okay. Now before I do that, let me get that off with a paper towel. That will be okay. We're going to turn the fan on and we're going to get our eggs in. to cook the eggs low and slow. So I'm gonna have to set that right there for right now. Um, I have another bowl that I can use. All right, so the next thing it says to do is to um, cook the eggs low and slow over medium heat, stirring often. Be sure not to overcook. Eggs should be light and fluffy with a light custard, custardy, custard like sheen and slightly runny. Um, that the reason why it needs to be slightly runny sorry about that is because when you go to reheat them in the microwave it will finish cooking the rest of the way in the microwave that way you don't overcook your um, you don't overcook your eggs nothing like hard rubbery eggs to turn somebody off <laughs> While we're doing, waiting on our eggs to slowly cook, we're going to get our cheese ready. And it says to take 16 slices of cheese. And, I have, and it says to use Velveeta because that's where the creamy comes in. And I'm supposed to put it in the bowl. And then when I put the eggs on top, it will melt it the rest of the way. So, we'll get that together while we're waiting on our eggs to get done.
you're not even seeing what I'm doing. I just happened to look up and notice that you're not even seeing what I'm doing. So let me put you guys down here so you can see what I'm doing and stir these eggs. And if I think it needs more cheese, I can add more cheese. If it doesn't seem creamy enough, but Velveeta seems to do a very good job with making things cheesy. So, my grandkids, Alex, Maymay, and Izzy, are spending the week with their dad. They'll be home at the end of this week. So, and my grandson Alex was having a little bit of a meltdown because mommy and grandma weren't there, <laughs> but he's okay. Mommy promised him that she would play Fortnite with him. He has no idea how to play it, <laughs> but it's that, that mommy time that they're looking for. I mean, he's with his dad, but oh, I dropped one. I'll pick that up here in a minute and get that in the garbage. There's 24 slices of cheese, and I think I might use all 24, even though it says to use 16, but my grandkids like it cheesy. And there's nothing wrong with cheese, and I don't want this to go to waste. And I think um, I want to get some... Uh, brioche buns and we're going to do another copycat um i want to do the wendy's um bake baconator i think is what it's called because my grandkids love burgers so i'm happy with a salad <laughs> I'm not a big uh, meat eater. I'm just not. So give me a salad and I'm happy. All right, so let me stir my eggs again. And I got one more piece of cheese. Really? open up the last piece of cheese and then I'll pick up that piece of cheese that fell on the floor. But I want to stir my eggs first. And then I'll get that.
rather doing the eggs this way and not adding the cheese to the eggs because the eggs will burn with the cheese in it. or something. Uh, I can't wait till summertime is around because I want to go to, I want to get some uh, tomatoes from a local farmer and I want to make some homemade tomato soup and I want to make some homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. <laughs> and I want to try and make some homemade ketchup. I have a recipe for it. I'd like to try. See if I can find a recipe that is close enough to the Heinz that we use. I've never dabbled in making homemade ketchup before. I've, I mean, I've made homemade spaghetti sauce. I've made homemade uh, barbecue sauce which I need to show you how to make my homemade barbecue sauce. That's one of the things I need to show you guys that my family requests. Because if I show up at a barbecue or something and I don't bring my, my barbecue sauce, I'm told to go home, make it, and then come back. <laughs> I've learned to make sure I have some already made up and jarred. So I gotta get some more jars. I gotta get some ball jars. Uh, one of my, I had a canning thing that uh, just that goes on top that spins and stuff. It was an old one of my grandma's or something, but, but um, I need to update my canning stuff. is still too creamy it needs to still cook some more so we're gonna babysit this and get it to where it needs to be so that way we can move on to the next step okay, it's starting to cook up a little too fast here so we're going to turn it down some It's where it should be. This is the light sheen 
that they were talking about. So I'm going to get it out of the pan and get it in the bowl and then we're going to put our sausage on top. This one back the burner, cut the heat. And then we're going to get our sausage. Let me put you down here so that way you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna put our sausage in. And this is all gonna get mixed in. when I get ready to roll, they're ready. Okay, so let's get this stirred up and get the cheese mixed through. I'm making a mess. I'm not trying to, but Got it nice and cheesy now. So now we're going to get ready and roll. I need something to get that off there. I made a mess. I'm going to clean it up. spilled on the floor. All right, I need some more. Um, apparently it's filled. I mean, that's okay, because when I get everything all done, I will be mopping my kitchen floor anyway. One of the things I do. After I'm done with my kitchen, I sweep up, I mop up, I clean up, and I'm done. Now it's time to make the burrito.
burritos, and I still forgot to let's get what's left on here off. Okay. Let's get that in the sink. I need to wash my hands before I get started. Get ready to roll. Okay, I have these. They're flour tortillas. It says they're fajita. Um, but uh, I wanted to make them small. There's 20 in here, so we're going to be making 40. And then if I have anything left over, uh, when we run out of the when we run out of these, um, I have some left over that I can uh, um, I need some water that I can make some more. It says to take a fourth of a cup and scoop it. Eight. And from the looks of it, a fourth of a cup is going to be plenty. So you're going to squeeze it in. Hold in your sides. Hold in your sides first and then roll it up. And I think next time I'm going to get larger um, I'm going to do a little bit less than a fourth of a cup because a fourth of a cup seems to be too much. Okay, okay you're going to fold in your sides. sides, roll it up, and it's done. Um, I was putting it too close to the center, so we're going to put it a little bit more towards the back back here.
roll it in your sides and roll it over. You are done. Same side down, move on. I'm going to need some paper towels because this is messy. Next. Side down. Awesome. And then after I get all these rolled, I'm going to put it in the freezer like this. And it's going to freeze for a couple of hours. And then I'm going to um, wrap each one up in a small piece of foil, maybe. I don't know because some people say wrapping it in foil is unnecessary if you freeze it if you flash freeze it first so I, I'm, that's what I'm going to do I'm going to flash freeze it and then um, it'll take two hours for them to completely freeze and then they can go into a Ziploc freezer bag and um, uh, and then you can just uh, put them in the freezer and whenever you want any um, any of the burritos you pull a couple out the night before um, put them in a container or something like that let them sit in the refrigerator overnight and by morning time you pop them in the microwave for 34 or 35 to 40 seconds and you've got breakfast quick breakfast surprised at how well these turned out though. Okay, one more. And then And there you go um, I'm going to let you guys go cuz we're already at 51 minutes <laughs> and um, hopefully my son can come and take a look at my phone and find out what's going on so I can edit again <laughs> so and that's the reason why I've been um, washing dishes and, and talking to you guys and everything like that because for some reason my phone will not edit at all so I'm going to have him take a look at it because that's what he does. He does a lot of stuff with computers and phones and stuff. So um, thank you for uh, coming in and thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for helping me hit the 100 mark. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys sticking through with me. And um, 
I just appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. And thank you so much. Again, this is Stephanie with Large Family Diabetic Cooking. Thank you. And I will see you guys later.